test one two. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the house of the Lord. Thank you for everyone that come from afar. Thank you, Lord, for his traveling mercy upon our lives. To have you all here this morning, it's an immense privilege for us. So, yeah, before we start, let's pray this morning. God, we thank you, Lord God, for today. We thank you, Father God, for the privilege, Father God, that we have and the honor, Lord God, to gather together, Father God, for, with you and for you, Father God. No other purpose we are here this morning, Lord God, except to meet you face to face, Father God. Thank you, Lord God, for a day, Father God, with your, Lord God, that your traveling mercies has started early this morning, Father God. And thank you, Father God, we'll carry on to the, to the rest of the day, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for the, Lord, that you love us. Lord, that you'll never leave us nor forsaken us, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for having hope and a future, Father God. Lord, thank you, Lord, this morning we can gather this morning, Lord God, because of you and you alone, Father God. Lord, we thank you this morning, Lord God, we will lift up our eyes upon you. You, Father God, the author and perfecter of our faith, Father God, and Lord God, that your blessing will flow down to us, Father God. We glorify and praise you, Father God. We honor you, Father God, for a place called home, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for caring so much for us, Lord, you've given us a place, Father God, to worship you in spirit and in truth, Father God. We glorify and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. May be seated. Thank you. Right, just uh, some announcements for the week that lies ahead. Uh, we will be starting off with care groups on Wednesday night again. And uh, if you're not involved in a care group, please speak to myself and Pastor Stefan, and we will allocate a group for you. And uh, remember for the guys from afar, that's local this morning, um, that uh, you're always welcome to join in via Zoom and Skype and all those things to care with a, with a care group as well. Thank you very much. All right, then birthday. Oh my Jackie! Let's give a cheer. Woo! Amma Jack, you're becoming 23. <laughs> we are, we are, ma'am, we are in awe of what God has done so far in your life. We thank you for the years that he's blessed you with and for the years that he's going to bless you with. And thank you that you are in our midst and that you're hearing his voice. Thank you for the person that you are. And as she sits, I want you to just stretch out her hands and let's just bless her this morning. Lord God, I want to not make this an old saying, Father God, but who are we that you are mindful of us? Yes, who are we, Father God, that you care for us? And yes, Lord God, with this morning, we want to say thank you for Emma Jacks. Thank, thank you, you God. Father God, for prayer, prayer, uh, giving us a woman in our midst, Father yes. God. A woman of stature, a woman, Father God, of desire after you, Father yes, God. Lord. A woman of honor, Father God, and a woman, Father God, that with life skills, Father God, that she has no, no Lord, that she shares, Lord God. Yes. I want to say selectively, Father God. Yeah. And Lord, we want to thank you for her. Thank you for thank her life. God. Lord, we thank you for this morning. Father, I pray thank that you'll bless you her, not only today, not only on her birthday, but from today on oh, up to her birthday, Father God. Jesus. May it be yes. an immense time in her. Lord, thank you for peace. Thank you, thank you for your love that overwhelms her, Father God, daily in amen. your midst, Father God. We glorify and praise you in amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. amen, amen. Love you, Omar. So remember, 23 is Omar becoming 23. All right. So yeah, we have a blessed morning with that. Thank you. Then School of the Spirit registration, the last time to register is today, to register before Wednesday, uh, when, the, when SOP will start for the third term. Yes, we are in the third term. Third semester? Si 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 okay, never mind. And we're carrying on from there. All right, thank you very much, Kyle. Trimester. Is that all? That's all cool. This morning, I would like to, to ask, if you are a tithe giver in the church, would you please stand? And I would like you to raise your hand this morning, your hands, and I want to prosper a blessing upon you. God, we come to you as your people. Lord, we come to you, Lord God, as a house that you've given us, Father God. Lord, this morning... Lord, we want to pray, Father God, a financial blessing, Father God, upon your people. If you laid it on this early in the morning, this, Lord God, you've laid it on the post heart, Lord God, to bless every single person, even the one that's not here today, Father God. Lord, that you will see their hands, Lord God. Lord, look upon your children, Father God. Lord, find them faithful, Lord God. And God, we pray, Father God, for the crisis that is in at the moment, Father God. Lord, our finances and everything becoming expensive and everything, Father God. Lord, we want to pray this morning, Lord God, that you will see. And 
Lord, you will fall for the God. And Lord, we pray for the God that you will see your vessel to be honorable in your sight, Father, to receive, Lord, your blessing from heaven this morning, Father God. Lord God, that no seed will go lost, Lord God. No, Lord God, no, let it die, die, die. Nothing, Father God, that is not of you, Father God. Lord God, no weapon formed against your word will prosper, Father God. Lord, we thank you this morning, Lord God, for your men's blessing, Father God. We pray, Father God, that our light will shine, Father God. And as we pray in our characters, Lord God, and our finances, people will say, How is this possible, Father God? I pray that you will bless them, Father God. I pray, Father God, that the windows of heaven will open, Father God. And Lord God, a supernatural impartation, Father God of your wisdom and Lord God in your financial ways Lord in reality Father and everything Father God will come this morning Lord God bestowed upon them Father God I open this morning this Lord, Lord this morning Father God, the floodgates of heaven Father God and Lord God help us to manage that which you've given us Father God because it's more than we can think and dream of Father God will we pray Lord God a supernatural blessing upon them this morning Lord in the fullness of your name in Jesus name Amen Amen thank you you may be seated thank you Good morning, GCC. Yo, wants it a full kerk volgen. I would just like to make a quick announcement about the tax shop. Um, Cameron will be available in the hallway from nine o'clock on a Sunday morning with the peppermints or holes and some water. If you would like to get something before church, there in the back at the hallway, it will be available. Is there holes in the hallway? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. For, for those anti peppermint people. <laughs> All right, great stuff. What's your name? Okay, music team, can I ask you to come to the stage for me, please? Why don't you just tell the Lord why you are here? Let us make sure that we are not here for a church service or a ritual or a have to be. <coughs> Saying to the music team, I had an Afrikaans song this morning in my room as the, pe the person sang. She said, I don't have anything to ask of you anymore. But can I please start saying thank you? I get no next meer om te vraag nie, kan ek net asjeblief begin dankie sê. Great West City Church, I love you dearly. Thank you for your commitment, thank you for your heart, thank you for moving with us as we are busy moving into an immense new season. As things are busy opening up like I cannot even imagine more, more than we could ever ask for. This morning it's great from the front row, front row to the back row. All the sons and daughters are in the house. All the sons and daughters in the house. Thank you for having a house. Thank you for serving God with me, for loving Him with me, for becoming His witness and His witness alone. And I want to declare this morning and say to you, we're going to be witnesses of the good of God's goodness like never before, Amen. if we can walk in truth. Yeah. Yes. Two things that's major at the moment is if we have to walk in truth, and secondly, we have to walk in, give him recognition. He knows what he's doing. He's always known what he's doing. The problem is we think we know. No, he knows. And to see what he's doing is vital to give him recognition for who and what he is is our life this morning we're going to be a prophetic church and when we stand we're going to see how strongholds are busy breaking everywhere i've seen people being set free this week of lies of the enemy he's got no way his darkness is fading god's got ways of bringing his word into back into our lives the word is opening up the word is springing up like wells I've been praying with a group of people in Namibia this week. I've had word for them. 
that God is just saying, listen, 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 listen what I'm doing. Listen what I'm doing and do only that. So this morning for you and I to be able to, we've got to realize that um, if it's not for Jesus. Once now Jesus has become the word in our mouth that carries the life that we believe in. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. We want to speak the name of Jesus because his power, his healing, and his life. Pastor Stefan shares with me just quickly as I was on the run on Friday. But it was so great to see you being happy being back, sir. The, 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 the joy of being back was so visible. It was so great to see you happy. Happy to see you see us. It's great to have you back. Being so, he was you know, quite, I'll ask him next week to share a bit where he was and what he's experienced, but to seem so pleased to be back Friday. It's just so great. It's just, just so great to see that he's got a home to come to. It's just so great. See him happy, and he didn't have good coffee, so he had to have more than one cup of coffee from Siela. Just so great to have you back, sir. But I was thinking of that couple that you showed that had a healing ministry, and yet she died of cancer. And I realized we can have many ministries my darling, sit my still. We can have many ministries, but there's only one minister. And at the end of the day, he makes the decisions. And the unfortunate thing is, she doesn't want to come back, fortunately. It's time that we realize that his life, we will never understand things on earth, but his life. His life. He, he is the life. Before we start this morning, I want to really say thank you. Yosef, how many years have you been involved with children? If you really put it from the beginning. 30 years. And I just realized this morning how God, a few months ago, Pastor Jane, has said that we must open up and see who wants to get involved with children. And then Yosef and Gerda said they want to get involved. And this morning as I phoned him and I spoke to him about Children's Church, I want to say to you, Yosef van Eden and Gerda van Eden, I honor you. I honor you for all the years of consistency. I thank you that you have never had church mentality, that you have never wanted to replace me in any way or outgrow me. I thank you for your humble submission and thank you for your heart for our Children's Church. Um, I, I really want to acknowledge you this morning. And I want to not use you as a children worker. I want to use you as an apostolic figure that has been taught by God's Spirit for a time such as this to be part of the group. I honor you, Gerdan, Stef, Gerdan, Yosef. I honor you for your willingness and especially for your passion for the children of Gateway City Church. I honor you, sir and ma'am. And we experience such grace and such movement because of your passion. Thank you that you are willing to just serve the king as you've always been. Thank you that you understand me because we live in a hidden life. God and God knows. So just know this morning it's, it's an honor to have you with me in ministry. Thank you so much. We will take nothing for granted in this place. And when God uses his people, I will always give recognition. You know, I am called by grace, so is everyone else, and we will keep on going by grace. Sort your hearts out this morning before you stand so that you don't just sing the song. Know that when you say, I just want to speak the name of Jesus, make sure that that's true for your life. Make sure that that is the only name you want to speak about. We are in the season of witnessing. Please don't sing songs that you don't mean because this is not a place for lies or pretension or show. Every word that we do will have an effect on our lives. The truth will set us free. Thank you for serving Pastor Janie and Raynard every Sunday. We do not take that lightly either. Thank you. Thank you that together we are a household. Brianna said something yesterday. She said, or last week, she said, is it true that in the front, of the church there's more anointing i said yeah it is because we're more focused they're playing around at the back the more focused you are 
So if you are at the back of the church and you don't get, then come and stand in the front if you're hungry enough. Mm-hmm. Run to the Lord. The woman went through the crowd. She says, no way you're going to be here, Jesus, and I'm not touching you. Oh, God, help us to be free from church mentality. Nekaya. We cannot afford to hear. He wants to hear. He wants to feel the closeness when you say Jesus. He wants to see if it's tough, how to pull you through. He wants to meet you face to face. The Lord's saying to me right now, he says, I'm breaking the power of the franchise of Jesus that has been born in churches this day in the mighty name of Jesus. It will no longer be a drive through name. Yes. It will no longer be an abuse name. Yes. It says to specific people, I'll give the name back with power. Yes. Can you hear what I'm saying? Yes. To specific people, I will give the name back with its power. And that specific people are those who's got a heart after Jesus. A heart after Jesus. I'm bringing the abuse and the franchise to an end to certain people i will give the name jesus back with power back with power let us sing jesus jesus there's just something about your name you are a master you are a savior in this week i have been been blessed to spend time with people at times I could smell the fragrance of Jesus. It was once, as I was busy sitting with me, I, f- I smelled the fragrance of peppermint. And I said, Lord, this is, you know, if you put something in your mouth that's really peppermint, it brings a freshness. You must become alive with Christ because you are going to smell him. You're going to smell him. Do you agree? Come on, don't just listen to me. Do you agree? Have you got an expectation? Have you got a desire? Smell him. He's got a fragrance. And it differs all the time. But there's nothing. But there's nothing. Until the something starts happening in your life. There's something about this man. Father, we need no church services. We are not in need of church services. We are in need of who you are. In need to tell you how we feel about you. The new season that we are so honorably living in, that we've got the immense privilege of having a time to tell you how we feel about you. Express our love towards you. Express our thankfulness towards you. Express your goodness, your kindness, to witness about the impossibilities. Well, there's been many accidents on this road, and this is the miracle. Everyone is safe here. Everyone is safe through the fog. Everyone is safe here. It's the miracles, miracles, miracles. So many miracles. Help us to witness about your goodness. Let us stop taking you for granted or just put you aside. You are everything. Oh, the state on the doing what they say, man. State, I said, it's said, and that means that it's seen. It's time that people feel and know. So great when I could hug those coming, that the Jesus in me could hug the Jesus in you. If you didn't keep your Jesus alive, we would have nothing in common when we hugged this morning. Oh, 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 get alive, church. Gateway is a spirit, church. It is a spirit church. Depends on what you carry in your spirit. If it's not in your spirit, you will have different things. And we will have lesser and lesser in common. Jesus. We've got so little time. Two hours is so little time on a Sunday. There's so much that we want to do in you and with you. Jesus, have mercy in this time. Let everything that you've planned, God help me. Let everything you've planned, everything you've set apart for this morning, who will be imparted? Who will be imparted? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. If you feel by now, I need to just really get back to Jesus. 
I want to say, Yusuf, I think it's time that you just go with the children. Just come to the front and just take them because you've got everything that you want to give to them. Thank you, please. All the children start coming with them, Yusuf. All the kids, nobody's too young. Everyone can go. Yusuf, do you think you can take Marcus with? Okay, he's taking them. All the children, if you are visiting, let the kids go. It's good. Bring all the children. Don't lose. Don't start looking at the kids. You just stay with God. Come, little ones. Come, come, come. Come, it's fine. Come. Come, that's fine. Come, wait for them, Yosef. Yes. Come on, Clankies. Oh, thank you. May the Lord bless your communion this morning. Danali, you can just perhaps go and just settle down. Thank you. 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 Jesus, 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 don't be hard though, I don't you, oh, your hearts just stay where you are standing, say thank you to God for hard on yourself, thank you for people that's doing it with you, that's willing to come with you, offer up their time with God and just serve, 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 oh, Jesus, 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 let us not take anything for granted in this house. Let us not take anything for granted. No, please come. Oh, Rabba, Baba, 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 That one, yeah. Come sit, this is the Oh, Rabba, Baba, 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 Thomas, move. Are you from the front? Okay, it's fine. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, build the Holy Spirit's presence. Don't be to the back and let nothing happen. Got to happen from the pub, from the back right to the back. Pastor Khara, just see what's happening at the back again. Just be at the back because we've got to take Jesus everywhere. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Unless you touch the Lord Jesus, you've come to a run to a just an ordinary place, and this is no ordinary place. This is for him, this is for him, this is about him. Oh, This is your time with your people. This is your time with your people. If you feel this morning where you are standing, that you have to come and just fix things with God. You feel it's just time for you just to come and just clean up some of the messes and the things. If you are realizing this morning, I've got things that need to be broken. There's stuff that got to come out of my life. I've got to come to an end of this. Then come and receive communion. Take it, go and sit with it. Sit with it. Come on, we have to be with Jesus. You've got to make Jesus so real. Oh, this morning you are welcome. Just come. You can just come and help yourself this morning. Whenever, 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 whenever. Father, I pray your hand and your blessing upon your table. In the mighty name of Jesus. There will be another time for us to use communion this morning. When we come as witnesses to declare Jesus is our witness. But now, now I feel God wants to break strongholds. I feel God wants to break strongholds. I feel God wants to break a stronghold. I believe Jesus wants to break a stronghold. There's no time to think what did people think. There's no time to think what if what would. Let people go. It's time. It's time. It's time. God wants to break strongholds this morning. Oh God, let there be power on your name. Let there be power on your name. Move, Jesus, move. It is our honor. It is our honor when you move, Lord. It is our honor that you move in our midst, God. It is our honor, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Move in our midst, my Lord. Move in our midst, move in our midst. I sense there's many double standards. I see Jesus has become a mixture. 
I see Jesus, the word, the name of Jesus has become a mixture. And you thought, as long as we say Jesus, it doesn't matter. It matters to him. It matters to him. He's holy. He's set aside. He's different than other, other name. Oh, the Lord is recalling in my spirit. Not everyone that says Jesus, Jesus are known by him. Even though they did signs, wonders, and miracles, he still says, I do not know you. Oh, Jesus. it's important to be known by Jesus. It is important. Gateway City Church is a house that wants to introduce you to Jesus. It's a place that wants to take you to Jesus. It is a house and pastor group that wants to help you to stay with Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. No other name but the name of Jesus. Oh God, there's just so something about your name. There's just something about this name that's breaking open in me this morning. There's light coming with the name of Jesus. There's light coming. There's life coming. There's truth coming. The truth, the truth, the truth. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Something about your name, Jesus. There's just something about your name, Jesus. There's just something about your name. Oh, something about your name. Something about your name, God. Thank you this morning. Something about this name. I declare this morning. I can hear the Lord saying over and over. I can hear him say over and over. I can hear him say over, over. Jesus is coming to destroy darkness. This morning he's coming to destroy darkness. He's coming to shine. He's coming to shine upon everything. He's breaking every struggle. Jesus wants to break struggle. Find your Jesus. Find your Jesus and let him break the struggle.
blood that was given to you this morning, take it and believe it. Oh, this blood. Oh, this blood. Oh, the blood that Jesus has given to us. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood that you died for us. Oh, you're giving me another time, another chance again and again. It rushes me today. Oh, oh, the blood, oh, the blood, oh, the blood, oh, the blood. Oh, the oh it breaks the strongholds. It breaks the strongholds. It breaks every stronghold. It breaks every stronghold. It breaks every lie. It takes every line captive. Oh, 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 the blood. Oh, the blood is the answer. Oh. The blood is the answer. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. Sing it like you are thankful. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. This morning. This morning. Oh, the blood can do what nothing else can do. Oh, the blood is taking me where nothing else can take me. Oh, the blood.
There's just something about the name this morning. There's just something, something, something. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Come on, love him this Jesus. morning. Jesus. There's just there's something. Just something. Come on, express him a bit. Don't have to whisper in his presence. You can tell him. You can tell him that there's something. You can tell him that there's just something about his name. There's just something about his name. Something about his name that has changed your life. That has set you free from this day. There's just something about your name. It's just something about you. Father, thank you that you have made us successful in life. Thank you that you've given us skill and in every domain you've equipped us well. But unless you are in it, God, we work in vain. Then the sand will just come and it will disappear when the wind comes. But we want to be strong. We want to be built on the rock, Jesus. We want to be able to go from higher to higher to excellence, Lord, that the success of this world will come to us without fear. Because you don't have to fear that we are successful people. We'll turn away. We will give you honor and honor and honor and honor and honor. We will give you honor and honor and honor and honor and honor. We will give you honor and honor and honor and honor. We will give you honor, honor. We give you 
honor. We give you all the honor. We give you all the honor. We give you all the honor for success. We give you honor, God. We just give you so much honor. Oh, honorable God. Honorable God. Honorable God. Oh, Reba Baba Banda. Dosere Kakaya Raba Besto. Eserebe Baba Yabo Satanda. Desara Kakanda Raba Satono. Hebele Baba Bao. Eserebe Baba 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 Satanda Raba Bondo. Honor belongs to you. Honor belongs to you. Honor belongs to you, God. Honor belongs to you. It's time to say thank you, God. Thank you for God. Come on, say thank you. Say thank you to the Lord. Express His goodness. Love Him. Come on. It's good to give Him a smile. It's good to give God a smile. It's good to give God a smile. He's a good God. Come on, take two minutes just to give him glory, honor and praise. Tell him how good he is. Tell him that on the horizon, dawn is breaking and you want to be part of it. Tell him, ask him. Oh, ask him. Ask him to make you more of spirit, lesser of flesh. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Some of you feel dirty. Like a swimming pool. I see swimming pool looks in front of me. You know, and it looks like if the water is clear. But the base is not clear. And you only know that there's dust and stuff lying on the base. On the bottom, once you get in and you put your foot down, then everything starts coming up. Now listen to me and don't misunderstand my honor to God. But the Lord is saying, unless my blood becomes your creepy crawly, you've got no right to extend any way because it will be done by you. I will suck it up. I will suck Please everything up. I Please will bring a pure Lord. foundation. What you see on top, you will feel at the bottom. Clear. I just see the Lord coming to clear us today, set us free. We will no longer be captive by depression or fear. These captivities are coming to an end. Captivities of our emotions. Captivities of why am I, who am I, why am I not like, oh, all those rubbish. Take your minds captive <coughs> this morning by your choice to be led by the Holy Spirit. God cannot take minds captive that do not choose the Holy Spirit. Minds that have been taken captive without the Holy Spirit are becoming crazy people. Because all of us have got to think. We've got to make decisions by our mind. But a mind, show me a man. Because a man will be seen by the way that a man thinks. Get your minds on Christ. Come on, tear up that group, that thing of, I need this and I need this. You need nothing, you need Jesus. Don't you understand? Once you have Jesus, all things work together for good. Make us a humble church in Gateway. Make us a joyful church in having the joy of following in the footsteps of Jesus. Make us a church that's undivided, Jesus. And shut down everything that was made by man. Oh God, 
who said to us during the holidays, even the questions we ask was not given by Jesus. Take the right of life out of our hands, God. The right to feel, the right to move, the right. Take it out so that we can learn to do it stronger and more greater than ever before as we do it with God. We do it with you. We live with you. We think with you. We walk with you and we repent all the time <laughs> because you just clean us all the time because your forgiveness is to give us hope. Your forgiveness is to give us a future. Your forgiveness is to keep on going. I declare this morning over everyone that has received the Lord Jesus, and I want you to hear what I declare. I declare there will be no condemnation in your life because condemnation is the lie that keeps you back from moving on. Unless you have, if you have a pure, repentant spirit, if your heart is undivided unto Jesus, there will be no condemnation. But then you've got to be in Christ. Not know about him in Christ. In Christ I live and have my being. In Christ. We are in. We need to be trained, Holy Spirit. We need to be taught, Holy Spirit. We need to be kept, Holy Spirit. Grant us the grace of being filled with the Spirit so that we will be led by your Spirit. Take us, equip us, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you for our future. We thank you this morning that Anina is out of the operation room. She's at home. Thank you that we have the honor to bless her on Wednesdays for them as a family. Bless every giver. And God, thank you that your healing hand is completely over her. The process will be completed. And she will be healthy again and again. Speak to her, Holy Spirit. Overwhelm her with your presence. Yes. Thank you that many that didn't feel well last week is fine. As far as I know, no one is really, really ill. And so we are very thankful. Why don't you just whisper to him this morning that you love him? Let him hear your whisper. Why don't you give him that smile that you give to somebody that you're in love with? Why don't you give him the hug that Sometimes he's never received from you. And say thank you for a very special God encounter. A very special God encounter. We love you, Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Thanks, music team. As always, I appreciate you. Gary, may I ask that you come and share with us, please, my book? Please don't expect me to welcome the Olsons and the Cooks in their own house. That will be very strange. If you go home this afternoon, Carla, remember to say, Hello, Stefan and Carla, welcome me by ons. Now we don't do things like that because we belong. It's okay. Good morning, GCC. Um, I, sh I shared this, this word during the week and you know when you can sometimes smell that the summer rain is coming before it even arrives? It was exactly like that this morning where a lot of us, his people, have maybe been feeling like it has been very dry and dusty, but I could smell his rain is on the way. It might not be here right now, but it is on the way. Be thankful even though it hasn't arrived yet. Celebrate in him as though it is fast rolling in. Such a deep joy and excitement I feel in the spirit as he knows how much we love him as his people and appreciate what he gives, but mostly who he is to us. Thank you, Lord, that you are intimately interested and involved in the details of our lives. We love you, Lord. And the scripture that, that I had that morning is, if you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me, and I will be found by you, says the Lord. I will end your captivity and restore your fortunes. I will gather you out of the nations where I sent you and will bring you home again to your own land. In Jeremiah 29, verse 13. Thank you that I can share. Lord, we are so 
thankful that you are mindful of us, Lord God. As Pastor Yandre humbly prays regularly, Lord God, who are we? And yet you are intimately interested in every detail of our lives, Lord God. We, we thank you for a word like that, that it speaks of hope, Lord God. You're 10,000 steps ahead of us. You're 1,000 steps ahead of us. You are, you are one step ahead of us, and you are inside of us, Lord God. It speaks of a hope, Lord God, that we can't see it right now, but you, you are saying, my rain is coming, Lord God. And we say thank you for that, Lord God. Thank you that you would prepare ahead of us, Lord God. We love you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Wendy. So on Wednesday, God said to Gary, smell. He was in the car and he could smell. And so day today, the Lord is raining. He brought the word in fulfillment in three days. In three days. That was his promise on Wednesday. And um, we will smell his fragrance. We love you, Lord. Father, help us not to take what you say lightly and give us back expectation, but teach us recognition. Because that word of Gary was a promise. It became truth today, and it will remain a promise. You will never stop moving with those that seek you whole. I've got an urgency that you will help my people to experience you for who you are. The lack of recognition has always been destroying the presence of the Holy Spirit. Thank you that you are, you've brought idols down in this place. Intensities of individualism. And you will keep on doing it till Jesus come. But we will never be caught up in familiarness, individualism, and that we will never leave the chain of command because the oil and the river and everything starts from the throne room, but has to come down in order so that we may have the fullness of your kingdom. The fragrance of your presence. There is no replacement for you. There is just something in your name. Amen. This morning, I want you to watch my spiritual mother. I haven't been in Moa for three day, years, three, four years. How many years? So just to make, let you understand, understand truth. What is in your heart is in your heart. If it's good, it will bear much fruit and your leaves will be for healing. If you are connected, with the right purpose of just serving God. One of the biggest things that's been destroyed that has cut the frequency of the spirit is people stop being thankful. Accepting and growing above and bigger than. Simple truths. The simple truth, if, if I don't have a spiritual mother, I am an orphan. Because I am called to be a spiritual, family-minded person. So I haven't seen Mom Helen for all these years. I've spoken to her twice. She sent me a Mother's Day message that was like, oh. And on Tuesday, she started the Zoom meeting. I'm willing to be without a church to stay in the frequency of the spirit. Because there's things in the spirit realm, the truth of the spirit, that nothing on earth can give you. 
And that's something you carry that no one can touch. So when my spiritual mom started to speak on Tuesday afternoon, I picked up my phone the next day because I, that would, by the time she spoke in South Africa, it was about 11-ish at this time, and I didn't want to bother them that night. But when the sun rose the next morning, I was the first one to say, Mom, were you in my church on Sunday? I said, you're looking so fancy. Through everything that she's been to keep her hubby going for the Lord. Every day years, especially this last few months. Can I share with you the power of being a word that everybody is abusing, but it's true, being accurately connected, being honorably connected, being connected. So many people have left Isaac, South Africans, <laughs> Because they want to know where they're going. They want to know who's going to take over from Dr. Jonathan. They want to know what they are doing in the nation, South Africa. And they want to, <laughs> yeah. I, I've just loved God and I love their God. And our God seems to be one God and that's all that matters. And I've got the immense privilege to have a mom and I know how to treat the mom. And when you are, very few things matter. Can I share with you what she's saying? Are you willing to listen? But with intensity, just five minutes. But I want to see you, tell you, belonging to a church is membership. Being in covenant is life. And if you understand that covenant, you don't need anything. You just need the covenant. And God's grace is enough in that covenant. Because if it's not tested, it's not biblical. <laughs> then it's not covenant. I trust that after you've seen this, you don't go and YouTube her. Will you take a, a, a video clip for mom? I said I'm going to show her. I had to let her know she's my guest speaker. Okay, never mind. You understand doing it. I told her she's going to be my guest speaker. I told her. I'm going to brag with you, you fancy lady. I'd for long my frack now. I haven't been able to give her flowers for so many times. But when she opens her mouth, what we've got in common is what money cannot buy. Thanks, Kaylee. Please don't abuse the clip. You will hear the interpretations because she speaks on a Sunday. It's Chinese, so just hang in there. I'm definitely going to show it twice so that the first time you look and the second time you listen. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Praise praise. Hallelujah, Lord. Father, we just give you praise. Father, <laughs> For the privilege that we can come before your holy presence once again. Thank you, O God, each time that we worship you, you are here. Father, we just thank you, O God, that you want to make your presence so real to each one of your children. Because this is a new day. This is a day that you want to reveal. Now the glory of God that is within each one of your children. We thank you for the deposit of the Holy Spirit that is here. We thank you for the treasure that is within each one of your children. We thank you, O God, for the strength of the Holy Spirit. This morning, O God, we just speak in the name, we declare in the name of Jesus. Let the spring, let the well of the living water from within us spring out. Lord, what you have deposited within us will not remain dormant, O God. 
Oh God, even right now, we speak in the name of Jesus. Stir up the well within each one. Cause the Holy Spirit of God to well up from within us. Because there's such a gush of power of God that's coming forth. Because the day of revival is here. The day of the fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit is here. The day of the baptism of fire is here. We thank you, God, for what you're doing in your house. Your name is altogether lovely. Your name will be highly exalted. All will know that you alone are God. And there's no other besides you. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. You may be seated. Thank you. We just give praise again to God that we can worship Him. You know, I hope you you know that God that we have entered into a new timing in God. Already there's a fresh stirring of the Holy Spirit. You know, already God is teaching us how to tune our ears to Him. I hope that you're spending time with God. Because if you pray, you feel His presence is so near. If you read His Word, you'll find His Word is so real. You know, God wants to do something so powerful that He has never done in your life before. There is a new awakening. Hey, nobody agree with me. Eh? Hey, are you excited? Do you want God to do something new? Are you agreeing with the Holy Spirit? Right? You know, last night, the word that came to my heart was, Spring up, oh well. God wants us to stir well of the Holy Spirit that is within us. Uh, don't let it be dormant. Uh, don't let it be so quiet. You know, our Asian uh, uh, very quiet type of people. We don't want to offend anybody. Uh, we want to appear so nice. We can't even hurt a fly. Uh, somehow the Buddhist uh, 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 ideology is still inside us. Get rid of it. Because it's time for us to rise up. To be what God has made us to be. There's such a deposit in God in each one of us. If we can stir that well. The life of Christ within us. Allow the Spirit of God to flow. Flow out of us. So many lives will be touched. So many lives will be empowered. Something is going to happen to your family. Something is going to happen to your friends, the community. Everyone that you touch will be blessed. Because they can see the deposit of God inside you. They know that God is with you. They know that you're special. They stir that well. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, stir that well within you. It's time to stir that well within you. Now is the time to stir that well within you. It's time to stir that well within you. It's time to stir that well within you. All right, this morning we have three of our youth who's going to share. Today morning we have three of our youth who's going to share. That's enough. Brother Roy and the youth leaders for organizing. Thank you. I'm going to do it once more. Because now you've seen her. Have you heard any of this before? Have you heard any of this before? She just told you you like flies. You don't want to speak. Now you have flies here too. It's one thing to say stir the well. It's another thing to mean it. We're going to watch this once more. 
confirmation to my heart. It's lovely to be with my mom in the same time. I know that I'm with them. It's I know I just oh, never mind up here. But I get what get you know. I know what I know. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm connected with. I know the price I'm paying. I don't know if you are paying prices. Because it's a price to be a well. It's a price when they stirred in your life what you believe at this moment should stir. And do you know what? It's that any, everybody's got the same choice. Everybody's free. Everybody is blessed. Everybody, every person in life can choose for themselves. My question is, what are you choosing? Who's got the influence on your well? Who is determining the springing up? What is springing it up? When you hear people say that you're nice, when you feel godly, when you hear that everything is, what do you want to hear to spring the well? We messed up. We think we are of Jesus. We're not. Put the stuff that you, that's moving you on one side and see how little is left. Because you don't understand. You don't know. That's it. You don't know. You don't understand. You don't. I do. I understand him. <laughs> People don't understand that. I do understand it. I want you to watch this once more because it's a serious season. It's everything Reinhardt said this morning that he felt yesterday. It's what Gary is sensing. Pastor Gerda last week nearly jumped out of her life because she got this confirmation. Once more, listen to Helen David. Walking a walk, not talking. Influencing so many people. Living in a hidden world. Understanding the frequency completely. And ask with me, how come that God has given us this type of covering? How come that we may know them? How come that we may know them? Misschien is jylle ordentlik genoeg om te vraag, how come that you know me? Because that's what I would have done. But that seems to be out of the way these days. Ons is nou allemaal die self, en ons is sê. Ons is sê. It ons is he. Ons is he. Get yourself back to where you belong before God. Want ons is he. What are we? Find out from God. Find your place with God. He will position you at the right place. Not a right and wrong place, but a godly place. And then live there. And when you live for him, everybody like I have been for nearly 30 years, blessed, be blessed to know ordinary people like Papa and Mommy David, selectively given to me by God. What is God giving to you this morning? And what type of spring should come from you? Father, I thank you for Dr. Jonathan David and and Mom Helen in my life, I thank you, Father, for the message that is coming to us clear this morning. Help us to understand we've got a spring in us. And bitter and sweet water cannot come from this same spring. We are turning to you, Jesus, for the work that you've done this day. You have turned the water into wine. And the water that you've turned into wine is the wine that was given by Jesus to wash our blood completely. Only reason why Jesus turned water into wine is to get his death announced, proclaimed, and prophet prophetically declared that the blood can do what no wine can do. We need to know everything you are saying. The Lord is saying, your experience with load sharing has shown you that you are unable to share life unconditionally in all circumstances. Learn from this condition. 
learn. Learn from every aspect in life how to be mine in spite of circumstances. In spite of circumstances, learn. Learn how to walk with wisdom. Learn how to walk with respect. Learn how to be consistent. Learn how to be a life carrier. Get involved. Do not be like a fly. Because we are useless if we cannot carry the life that is given. And he's given us too much. He's about to give us so many new birthings in the spirit and fresh outpouring of the spirit. Why should he give it if you are just you? He owes us nothing. He owes us nothing. He owes us nothing. And once more he proclaims a fresh outpouring of the spirit. Once more he proclaims to the dead, the, the fly is church. I will pour out again. Once more he hasn't found anything different. And once more he declares. Once more an undeserving grace. Once more. Once more. Once again. Once again. Open up your wells. Open up. In this house, wells have been digged on Johan van Malter. Sampi van die kerk. Andre Kraus. Jonathan David. Cyrus Gomez. And all the leaders that have been with me for all these years. All of them. Yosef Gerda, Stefan, Jackie. And Gerda, die jare Arnel and Anton, Brian Kogio, kom jare, kom, 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 kom. Let the springing of the wells become a life forever. It is an honor. It's an honor that the spring of the Holy Spirit wants to come once more. And spring up in us. This morning when mom starts to pray. And you want to take this prayer for you. Then please stand when she starts to pray. It's my honor. To have a preacher to us this morning. It's my honor. Let us go with her once more please. It's the morning so you don't have to expect anything else. Hallelujah, Lord. Father, we just give you praise. For the privilege that we can come before your holy presence once again. Thank you, O God, each time that we worship you, you are here. Father, we just thank you, O God, that you want to make your presence so real to each one of your children. Because this is a new day. This is a day that you want to reveal Lord, the glory of God that is within each one of your children. We thank you for the deposit of the Holy Spirit that is here. We thank you for the treasure that is within each one of your children. We thank you, O God, for the strength of the Holy Spirit. This morning, O God, we just speak in the name, we declare in the name of Jesus. Let the spring, let the well of the living water from within us spring out. Lord, what you have deposited within us will not remain dormant, O oh God. Oh God, even right now, we speak in the name of Jesus. Stir up the well within each one. Cause the Holy Spirit of God to well up from within us. Because there's such a gush of power of God that's coming forth. 
Because the day of revival is here. The day of the fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit is here. The day of the baptism of fire is here. We thank you, God, for what you're doing in your house. Your name is altogether lovely. Your name will be highly exalted. All will know that you alone are God. And there's no other besides you. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. You may be seated. Thank you. We just give praise again to God that we can worship Him. You know, I hope you you know that God that we have entered into a new timing in God. Already there's a fresh stirring of the Holy Spirit. You know, already God is teaching us how to tune our ears to Him. I hope that you're spending time with God. Because if you pray, you feel His presence is so near. If you read His Word, you'll find His Word is so real. You know, God wants to do something so powerful that He has never done in your life before. There is a new awakening. Hey, nobody agree with me. Eh? Hey, are you excited? Do you want God to do something new? Are you agreeing with the Holy Spirit? Right? You know, last night, the word that came to my heart was, Spring up, oh well. God wants us to stir the well of the Holy Spirit that is within us. Uh, don't let it be dormant. Uh, don't let it be so quiet. You know, our Asian, uh, uh, very quiet type of people. Uh, we don't want to offend anybody. Uh, we want to appear so nice. We can't even hurt a fly. Uh, somehow the Buddhist uh, ideology is still inside us. ideology is still inside us. So you know, maybe it's the Christian culture in us. Get rid of it. <coughs> because it's uh, time for us to rise up. To be what God has made us to be. Now, there's a, such a deposit in God in each one of us. If we can stir that well, the life of Christ within us, allow the Spirit of God to flow, flow out of us, so many lives will be touched, so many lives will be empowered, so many lives will be empowered, so many lives will be empowered. Something is going to happen to your family. Something is going to happen to your friends, the community. Everyone that you touch will be blessed. Because they can see the deposit of God inside you. They know that God is with you. They know that you are special. They stir that well. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, stir that well within you. It's time to stir that well within you. Now is the time to stir that well within you. Now is the time to stir that well within you. Now is the time to stir that well within you. Now is the time to stir that well within you. Now is the time to stir that well within you. Now is the time to stir that well Psalm 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd. Just before somebody goes home and says, that church hasn't read the Bible. So. And I will be in the house of the Lord forever. Because goodness and mercy is following me. If you don't find me on Monday, I'm on my way to Moor. I'm going to have a quick visit. <laughs> Malaysia has just opened the borders for those that's not vaccined. South Africa is free. I can't even go. 
this morning. You're going to have communion with Psalm 23. The Lord is your shepherd. Jesus, you are my shepherd. It's a Don Moen that sings that song. By the time you leave this territory, your cup will run over because of his goodness, his fullness. And the finances that people spend to come from farms and other towns to be in his house will be multiplying back into your... And those of us that take coming to church lightly our petrol will go fast, so don't take it lightly. There's no petrol money that can pay, but God will meet every need. Thank you for attending. Thank you for tithe and offering. Set your life straight. Protect your life in Christ Jesus. We end this morning. I want all of you to come to the table and make sure that you understand. Make sure that you understand the Lord Jesus is your shepherd. Listen to the song a bit and then come. On Wednesday night, all of you are in care groups. If you want to be in one and you're not sure where, and find out, but we will find Mo mostly people know. Not this Wednesday, the next Wednesday, Ruan, if it's possible, we will have a baptism service. Can you find out if the time is okay, the date? Not this one, the next one. So the next, uh, next Wednesday, Pastor Yandre and myself will be baptizing. I know of two. They don't know it yet, but they are going to be baptized. At least I get a grin from both of them. And anybody that still needs to be baptized, phone me this week. Okay? But if you've given your heart to the Lord Jesus, and you have been filled with the Holy Spirit, we need to let that old flesh die the way Jesus gave it. He set the example to be baptized. Coming out of that water, you are bulletproof and powerfully equipped. If there's anybody in Wirrapwet that got an urgency with baptism, then speak to me, please. Nothing is impossible. Father, how can we say thank you for a morning such as this? It's nothing different than everyone that's been. You are just so incredibly faithful. Now unto him, who is the king of all kings and the ruler of all kingdoms, be all glory and honor. Be exalted, Lord. Reign and rule like never before. It is our proud and our honor to be connected to whom you are. You are our everything. Pastor Gerda and Stefan, Yandre and Aritz, please just stand at the table and serve the house as they come forward. You don't have to serve, just be there. Um, where's the basket for the empty cloths? Can you put them here in the front? You have time till you want to go home. Is it more coffee gemaakt? Siela is stopped. And our hearts are full. Let's go into the song. Please listen to the song and don't do anything out of familiarness. <laughs>